Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to create this muffin. Let's dive right in. Okay, before we get started, let's go into Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, search for Extra and activate Add Curve and Add Mesh Extra Objects and search for Node Wrangler and activate Node Wrangler. Then we'll start by creating the cup. So press Shift A, Mesh, to add a circle. Just tap to go into edit mode, go to select and click on checker deselect then S and scale it down a tiny bit and press A to select all, F to fill and then E to extrude it up and then we can press S to scale it up a tiny bit and then I'm going to go to select checker deselect again, S and shift set and then going to scale it up so it's a bit more round. And we'll add a muffin, so press Shift A, Mesh and add a cube. Press Ctrl 3 to add a subdivision modifier. Go into the modifiers tab, go to subdivision and increase the render to 3. We can right click Shade Auto Smooth and then we can go Tab into Edit Mode and then S and Z and scale it down on the Z axis. And then press 7 on your numpad or the tilde key to open the view menu and go into Top View. And press S and Shift Z, and then we can scale it up on the X and Y axis like that. And then with G and Z, move it down, and then we can increase the height a tiny bit and make it look exactly the way we want it to. And there, maybe make it a tiny bit smaller. You can play around with the sizing a bit. Okay, that looks great. Now we'll add our cream, so press Shift A, Mesh, Extras and add a simple star. Go to the menu here in the left bottom and increase points to 7. Press G and Z, move that up. Then in edit mode, scale it up in the Z axis. Then with Ctrl R and your mouse wheel, add a few loop cuts. And then press 3 on your keyboard to go into face select. Select the top faces. Press O to activate proportional editing and then S and shift set and scale it down. Now we can kind of make it look the way we want it here. There, make it nice and pointy and then select the bottom faces and scale those down a bit as well. Yeah, like that, and then we'll select the top faces again, and then press R and Z, and then we can rotate our object a tiny bit on the Z axis. And then once we leave edit mode, we can press Ctrl 3 to add a subdivision modifier, increase the render subdivisions as well, right click, shade auto smooth, and then now we can play around a bit with our sizing, maybe um, deactivate proportional editing, and then we can maybe like scale a few up a bit if you go into edge select right there and then press s and shift z and then we can just play around a bit with our shape and then maybe make the point even pointier we want to there and then we'll move it into a muffin i'll go into front view by pressing one of your numpad or through the view menu and then we can just scale it there, I think that is a pretty good size. I'm going to increase the subdivisions to four to make it even smoother. And there we go. And then we'll add the cherry. So press Shift A, and then we'll add a UV sphere. Press G and Z, move it up, and then we'll select the top there. And press G and Z, and we'll move it down a tiny bit. Something like that. Press Ctrl 2 to add a subdivision modifier. Right click, shade out the smooth. We can decrease the sizing a tiny bit. Go into front view so we can check the size. And I think this is a pretty good size like that. Yes, just like that. Then I'll add a circle, move it up, and scale it all the way down. Press F to fill, and then we'll move it down a tiny bit. And then in edit mode, press E and extrude it up and scale it up. And then with control right click, you can continue like that. 
and then press ctrl 2 to add a subdivision modifier go into face select press i to insert the top and then we'll add a loop cut there and move it down and then i'm going to increase the subdivision to three there we go yes and then i'll select the cherry and then i'll rotate it a tiny bit there so it's not like straight on top of it okay i do think i want my cream a tiny bit bigger move the cherry up a tiny bit more there yes i like how that looks okay then i'll go add a camera i'll go into front view shift a and then add a camera then g and y and move it back go into camera view by pressing a zero on your numpad or through your view menu we'll change our output settings to 1920 1920 and then g and z twice i'll move it back a bit then i'll select the muffin move it down and then press r twice and we can rotate it like maybe like that and then maybe move the camera back a tiny bit more and then there okay just like that and press shift a mesh and we'll add a plane for the background or x 90 to rotate it press g and y to remove it back tab to go into edit mode scale it up and make sure it covers your whole background okay then we'll go and add the sprinkles on the cream so press shift a and add a cube g and x we'll move it to the side and then we'll scale it down and then we'll press s and z and we'll scale it up and then we can extrude the top and the bottom a tiny bit and i press ctrl 2 add a subdivision modifier and shade it smooth and then maybe scale it down just a bit more then we'll add a particle system to the cream to uh, add the sprinkles to it so if we go into a particle system and we'll click the plus and then we want to set this to hair and then maybe the number we'll, we'll start with 15 that will be fine uh, we won't touch seed for now hair length is fine and segments is fine we'll go into render and we'll render it as an object and then instance object is going to be our sprinkle then we can change the scale to whatever you like i'm thinking something like 0.15 seems to look pretty good uh, scale randomness we can add some randomness to the sizing of it um maybe like 0.25 looks pretty good just a quick note i removed show emitter here don't do this leave show emitter checked else your uh, cream will not be visible in your render we can make some object rotation like that okay and now we'll go into our weight paint so if you click here and we select weight paint and click on let's see where it is the gradient here and then we can just kind of paint just the top of it because i don't really want the sprinkles at the bottom like that and then we'll call this like uh, sprinkles and then we can go into a particle system and then we can go to vertex groups density and we can select sprinkles there we go okay and now we can just um, go back into object mode and then we can kind of play around with the seed until we have like one that you think looks good this uh, this is all just pure up to taste you can also decrease or increase the number of sprinkles and just continue clicking until you have something that you think looks good I think I kind of like this it's not too over the top it's just a few sprinkles on there okay then I'll go and add some lighting before that I'll change my render engine to cycles I'll change the device to GPU compute viewport render 
is going to 128 and uh, render samples to 512. And now I can press Z and I can go to rendered and I will press shift A, a light and add an area light. Press RX 90 minus to rotate it and I press G and Y and we'll move it back. And then I can go into light settings here and increase the size. And then we'll increase the power to maybe 200 to start off with. Press shift A, light, add an area light. And then we'll add that there. Press period and change your pivot point to 3D cursor. Press RX 60 and then RZ 45 minus. We'll change the size to, di to disk. Change the size to 2. And then we'll increase the power to 40 maybe. And then press shift D, RZ 120. And then G and Z to move it back a bit. I'm going to increase this power to 60. Press R and X, X twice, and then maybe shine it a bit more from the side. Same goes for this one. G and Z move it back a tiny bit. There, I think that looks good. Then we'll press Shift A, light, and add an area light, R, X, 90, and G and Y move it back towards the background. We'll change our shape to disk size to two and then power to maybe 300 create a nice light on our background and then g and y we can move it back a bit there we go okay that will do for now then we'll go and add some materials so i'll start with the background select the background add a new material and we'll call that background and then our base color is going to be E2B5B8. Okay, then we'll go and do our cup. For that, we'll go to the shading tab, go into camera view here and into rendered view. Add a new material right there. We'll name it cup. And then now we'll add some nodes. So we'll start with a gradient texture. So press shift a and then search for gradient texture and then we can press ctrl t to add a mapping and a texture coordinate and then i want to add a color ramp right there and then gradient texture goes into the color ramp and the color ramp goes into the base color and then right in our mapping we can change the rotation of y to 90 like that and then our dark color comes from the bottom then we'll just change our colors in the color ramp right there and the left color is going to be db619b and then our lighter color is going to be ffbcd3 and then i'm going to move this one a bit to the right to increase the sizing of it a tiny bit there we go yeah i think that looks pretty pretty sweet okay then for the muffin create a new material we'll call it muffin we'll add some nodes here as well we'll start with a noise texture so shift a search for noise texture press ctrl t to add a mapping and a texture coordinate and a color ramp once again there and then we can connect the color ramp to base color there we go and it adds a nice uh, noise texture to it and then we'll change the colors of this as well so the left color is going to be d77144 and our right color is going to be ffbca3 and then once again i'm going to move this a bit to the right there we go okay now for the cream I'll just add a simple uh pink texture got to it we'll change our base color to e7c6e1 and then we'll just decrease the roughness to maybe like 0.2 there we go then for our sprinkles we can just select the sprinkle that is here out of uh, screen add a new material to it we'll call it sprinkles 
and then our base color is going to be AA4A41 and then I don't know I kind of like that a bit more red a bit more saturated CC4137 and then I'll decrease the roughness of this to 0.3 maybe yeah looks nice then our cherry the new material we'll call it cherry and then we want to change the base color to BE4F56 and then the roughness is going to 0.2 maybe a bit less maybe point, point, point 0.15 yeah that looks nice okay and then the green part of the cherry cherry green we'll change the base color to 81C95F and then we can also decrease this roughness to maybe 0.3 okay then all we have to do is go and go back to the layout and then go into our world tab and then we'll change the color of the world to BD7290 that makes it very very pink but it's nice and then we can play a bit more with our lighting and to maybe make this one like 80 power there make it a bit stronger same for this one move it a tiny bit closer and then maybe even increase the power of our um, backlight as well make it 500 there and then move that back just a tiny bit maybe make it 700 Let's see how that looks yeah i think that looks pretty sweet and now if you still want you can still go into your particle system change it around play around a bit with the seed but i uh, i'm satisfied with how this one looks um i'm just gonna go into our render settings and then go back to color management and then change the look and here you can change the contrast so uh, maybe like make this a high contrast might be a bit of an overkill make it, i'll make it a medium high contrast yeah i think that looks pretty sweet okay and then uh, all we have to do is render thanks for joining me if you have any questions or requests drop them in the comment section below i'd love to see your results so tag me on instagram if you enjoyed this tutorial feel free to like and subscribe see you soon